Attention all operators on countdown one. This is the final go, no go poll for Starship Flight 4. Stage one. Go. Stage two. Go. Stage by two. Go. Flight directors, go for launch. Today, we've got a breaking story about a recent SpaceX Falcon 9 launch that encountered a rare and significant anomaly. Let's dive into the details and see what happened. On the night of July 11, 2024, SpaceX's reliable Falcon 9 rocket lifted off from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. The mission? To deploy 20 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit, part of SpaceX's ambitious plan to provide global internet coverage. Initially, everything seemed to be going smoothly. The Falcon 9's two stages separated on time, and the first stage made a flawless landing on a drone ship, as we've come to expect from SpaceX. Uh, but then, something unusual happened. The rocket's upper stage, which was supposed to carry the Starlink satellites to their intended orbit, experienced an anomaly. According to SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk, the upper stage's engine restart to raise the perigee, or the closest point in the satellite's orbit to Earth, resulted in a rapid unscheduled disassembly, or RUD, which is SpaceX lingo for an explosion or disintegration. A Musk shared this news via X, just a couple of hours after liftoff. He explained, Upper stage restart to raise perigee resulted in an engine RUD for reasons currently unknown. Team is reviewing data tonight to understand root cause. Starlink satellites were deployed, but the perigee may be too low for them to raise orbit. We'll know more in a few hours. A SpaceX quickly followed up with more details. They confirmed that the second stage engine did not complete its second burn leading to the satellites being deployed into a lower-than-intended orbit. So far, SpaceX has made contact with five of the satellites and is attempting to use their ion thrusters to raise their orbits. Musk added that this effort will probably not work, but it's worth a shot. And now, let's take a closer look at the possible cause of this anomaly. During the launch webcast, a buildup of fluffy white ice was observed near the upper stage engine. This unusual sight could indicate a propellant leak, but this is just speculation at this point. Neither SpaceX nor Musk has commented on this specific detail yet. Uh, the Falcon 9 is renowned for its reliability, with 69 successful launches already in 2024. It suffered only one full in-flight failure in its history, back in June 2015, during a mission to send a Dragon cargo capsule to the International Space Station. The rocket is also human-rated, having launched 13 crewed missions to date, nine of which sent astronauts to the ISS for NASA. As so, what does this anomaly mean for SpaceX and their future missions? It's too early to say for sure. SpaceX will first need to determine exactly what went wrong and how to fix it. This incident could lead to delays or modifications in their launch schedule as they address the issue. Now, this particular launch was significant not just for the number of satellites, but also because 13 of the 20 Starlink satellites were designed to beam service directly to cell phones. This is part of SpaceX's broader goal to create a massive Starlink mega constellation, which currently consists of over 6,100 operational satellites. With 49 of the 69 Falcon 9 launches in 2024 dedicated to Starlink missions, any delay could have ripple effects on their rollout plans. E as we wait for more information, let's take a moment to appreciate the incredible advancement SpaceX has made in space technology. From reusable rockets to ambitious satellite constellations, they've pushed the boundaries of what's possible. This anomaly, while significant, is a reminder of the challenges inherent in space exploration. And to understand the full impact of this anomaly, let's break down the events leading up to it and analyze the possible causes in more detail. The Falcon 9 rocket is a marvel of modern engineering. Its first stage is powered by nine Merlin engines, which burn RP-1, 
a highly refined form of kerosene, and liquid oxygen LOX. The second stage, which encountered the anomaly, is powered by a single Merlin vacuum engine designed to operate in the vacuum of space. If the initial phase of the launch went off without a hitch. The first stage engines ignited, lifting the Falcon 9 off the pad with a thrust of about 1.7 million pounds. This phase of the flight, known as Max-Q, is where the rocket experiences the maximum dynamic pressure. After successfully passing through Max-Q, the rocket continued its ascent, with the first stage burning for about two and a half minutes before shutting down. A following this, the first stage separated, and the second stage's Merlin vacuum engine ignited to carry the payload to its intended orbit. The first stage then executed a series of maneuvers to return to Earth, landing on the drone ship stationed in the Pacific Ocean. This aspect of the mission was a success, showcasing SpaceX's remarkable ability to reuse rocket stages, significantly reducing the cost of spaceflight. Uh, however, the trouble began when the second stage attempted its second burn to raise the perigee of its orbit. This burn is crucial for achieving the correct deployment altitude for the satellites. During this phase, the engine experienced an RUD, leading to an incomplete burn and the deployment of the satellites into a lower-than-intended orbit. And now, let's delve into the potential causes of this anomaly. One possible issue is a propellant leak. The presence of the fluffy white ice near the engine could indicate that liquid oxygen or RP-1 was escaping from the system. Such a leak could lead to improper combustion, causing the engine to fail. Another possibility is a structural failure within the engine or the upper stage itself, which could result in a catastrophic failure during the burn. E to provide more context, let's discuss the complexities of the second stage engine. The Merlin vacuum engine is an enhanced version of the Merlin engine used in the first stage. It has a larger nozzle to maximize efficiency in the vacuum of space, producing about 210,000 pounds of thrust. The engine's performance is finely tuned, and any slight deviation can lead to significant issues. At the upper stage also carries avionics and guidance systems that control the engine burns and ensure the payload reaches the correct orbit. If there was a failure in these systems, it could result in an incorrect burn sequence, leading to the anomaly observed. As SpaceX engineers are undoubtedly working around the clock to analyze the data and pinpoint the exact cause of the failure. This process involves reviewing telemetry data, examining hardware, and conducting simulations to recreate the anomaly. The goal is to identify the root cause and implement corrective measures to prevent similar issues in future launches. And while we await more information from SpaceX, Let's consider the implications for the Starlink satellites deployed in this mission. The primary concern is that the satellites were deployed into a lower-than-planned orbit, which may be too low for them to achieve their intended operational altitude using their onboard ion thrusters. The ion thrusters are a type of electric propulsion system that use ions to generate thrust. They are highly efficient but produce relatively low thrust compared to traditional chemical rockets. If the satellites are too low, their ion thrusters may not be able to raise their orbit sufficiently, potentially rendering them unusable. As SpaceX has made contact with five of the satellites and is attempting to use their thrusters to raise their orbits. This effort is challenging and may not succeed, as Musk himself noted. However, it's worth the attempt, as recovering even a portion of the satellites would be a positive outcome. If the potential loss of these satellites highlights the risks inherent in space missions. Each launch carries significant investment and technological effort, and anomalies like this one serve as a stark reminder of the challenges faced by space exploration companies. And despite the setback, SpaceX's track record of innovation and success provides confidence that they will overcome this hurdle. The company's ability to learn from failures and improve their technology has been demonstrated time and again. This incident will likely lead to further advancements in their rocket design and operational procedures. 
e in the broader context, the anomaly also underscores the importance of continuous improvement in space technology. As space exploration becomes more ambitious and complex, the need for robust systems and thorough testing becomes ever more critical. Each mission, whether successful or not, contributes valuable lessons that drive the industry forward. And to better understand the significance of this event, let's explore the history and development of the Falcon 9 rocket. The Falcon 9, named after the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars, is SpaceX's workhorse rocket. It was designed to be a reliable, cost-effective vehicle for a wide range of missions, from satellite deployments to crewed missions to the ISS. If the rocket's first flight took place in June 2010, and it has since become the most frequently launched rocket in the world. Its success is largely due to its reusable first stage, which can be landed, refurbished, and flown again. This reusability has dramatically reduced the cost of access to space and revolutionized the industry. If the development of the Falcon 9 was not without challenges. Early flights experienced delays and technical issues, but SpaceX's iterative approach allowed them to quickly learn from each launch and make improvements. The rocket's first major milestone came in 2012 when it successfully delivered the Dragon spacecraft to the ISS, marking the first time a commercial spacecraft docked with the station. As since then, the Falcon 9 has continued to achieve remarkable milestones. It has launched a diverse array of payloads, including scientific satellites, commercial satellites, and crewed missions. The rocket's reliability and versatility have made it a preferred choice for both government and private customers. At the Starlink project, which aims to create a global satellite internet network, is one of SpaceX's most ambitious endeavors. The mega constellation consists of thousands of small satellites orbiting Earth at low altitudes. These satellites work together to provide high-speed internet access to even the most remote regions of the world. A Starlink has already made significant progress, with thousands of satellites deployed and service available in many areas. The system has proven especially valuable in disaster zones and remote locations where traditional internet infrastructure is lacking. However, the project is still in its early stages, and many more satellites are needed to achieve full global coverage. A each Starlink launch is a step toward this goal, and the July 11th launch was particularly notable because 13 of the satellites were equipped with the capability to beam internet service directly to cell phones. This technology could revolutionize connectivity, providing seamless internet access wherever you are, without the need for ground-based infrastructure. And despite the anomaly, the Starlink project continues to move forward. SpaceX's ability to rapidly iterate and improve their technology means that setbacks like this one are part of the learning process. The data gathered from this launch will inform future missions and help ensure the success of the Starlink network. E as we look to the future, SpaceX's ambitions extend far beyond satellite internet. The company is actively working on the Starship program, which aims to create a fully reusable spacecraft capable of carrying humans to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Starship represents the next evolution in space transportation, with the potential to open up new frontiers for exploration and colonization. Now, the Falcon 9 anomaly is a reminder of the challenges faced by space exploration companies, but it also highlights the resilience and determination of those working in the industry. SpaceX has built a culture of innovation and problem-solving, and their response to this incident will undoubtedly lead to further advancements in their technology. In the meantime, we can all continue to marvel at the incredible achievements in space exploration. From reusable rockets to ambitious satellite networks, we are living in a golden age of space technology. Each launch, each mission, brings us closer to understanding our universe and expanding humanity's presence beyond Earth. A thank you for joining us today as we explored the recent SpaceX Falcon 9 anomaly. We'll keep you updated as more details emerge and as SpaceX continues their mission to revolutionize space travel.
Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. Let us know in the comments what you think about this incident and what it could mean for the future of SpaceX and space exploration. A thanks for watching, and as always, keep looking up.